Most players take World Cup qualifiers very seriously, but Stompy and Chinken don't, and they still destroy everyone. Easily. Their gameplay is calculated, flawlessly combined with smart level aggression. They're able to W key even the top lobbies with seemingly no regret. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Dan, and today I'm going to be showing you why E11 Stompy and Chinken are the best Fortnite duo in the world. Yeah, I said it. See? We don't only talk about Tifu here. Have your own opinion too? Check out our Fortnite meta page where you can vote on your favorite weapons and let us know what you think of the game's latest updates and patches. So let's dive into some gameplay that show Fortnite's finest duo in action. Before we get to this analysis, we need to ask this question. What exactly makes this duo so lethal? Not only have they placed 6 out of 8 weeks in the finals, they've done it with no regret. Consistently qualifying among thousands of bloodthirsty players is not a simple task. Further, this duo makes other top duos look like cows. But how do they do it? Let's take a look at some clips to find out. Okay, in this first clip we have Stompy and Shinken scouring the battlefield, knocking on everyone's door looking for kills. The sheer amount of confidence displayed is breathtaking. They not only emerge victorious with a 30 bomb, but they display incredible teamwork, top tier positioning, and gameplay. If you want to incorporate some of that into your gameplay, check this out. As Stompy and Shinken land on a helpless enemy, you know how this all ends. Unfortunately, rifts are a thing. This opponent may have thought he got away, but think again. Nothing is stopping this duo from tearing him to pieces. Stompy's kill is stolen, but I always really like how he and his teammate position themselves at opposite angles. That way one can chase and the other one can shoot. This helps out tremendously. Looks like iPad player learned not to steal Stompy's kill. The duo sees an enemy down below, and to them, it's food. He's just a few steps away from being swallowed. What makes this pair so effective as a tag team is their ability to simultaneously coordinate different angles and positions with each other. They always have the situation under control. The duo flag down another opponent, and it's immediately lights out for that guy. Take notice of every time Stompy and Chinkin go into a 1v2 situation. They always position themselves on two sides, that way the enemy has nowhere to go. This proves to be effective in all ranges of game modes. Instead of rotating the zone and securing a good spot, which is what normal players do, these guys are at it again. It almost seems as if they're playing the game like a public lobby. Their confidence is just incredible. They know so well that they're going to be the winners. Again, positioning as they land is key to securing the kills. Having a lot of eliminations available to you is a major pro of having so many eliminations. They stop to take a breather, deciding to make their push. Now, this is where Stompy and Chinken shine, late game domination. This isn't the only week we've been seeing them pulling off 20 bombs in World Cup qualifiers. We know that to players like Chinken and Stompy, this is second nature. As soon as they take the high ground, they instantly move to eliminate all other opposition. They strike at them with such force, you can actually feel the panic in the players when Stompy pushes them. They take both sides, and there's literally nothing these players can do. Side note, heavy snipers make excellent wall replacers. Let's look at positioning for a second. The enemy rifted away, and Stompy chases him. Chinkin does the smart thing and doesn't follow. Now, you may be thinking, why? Well, the simple math behind it is that if he follows, no one will be able to shoot him out of the sky, and they miss out on a kill. By doing this, Chinkin secured the kill super easily. This is the moment Stompy and Chinkin secures the game instead of staying up above, raining down fire. Chinkin decides to go down and get a better angle to help secure more kills. This is where positioning 101 becomes lethal. This duo is just slaying out. They're making the best of the best players look like bots. It's one thing claiming they got a lucky game, and it's another when they do it every single time. This is what you call abuse. Once again, in this clip, we see demonstrations of top tier positioning. This duo is not just W keying, although that can sometimes be how it seems. They know how to get advantageous angles on their opponents. They have the best advantage in the game right now, which is a 1v2. And just like that, they claim victory royale, a 29 kill finish. If this isn't eye popping, I don't know what is. There are a few takeaways from this clip. Number one is play aggressive. You probably won't want to W key the way Stompy does, but sometimes you need to push. Force enemies to respond to your actions, even in tough situations. Number two, we witnessed high level positioning. It's an art form here, guys, and it's inarguably the most effective component when paired with aim. Always look to put yourself in the spot which gives you the advantage. 
In this next clip, we have Stompy, left alone with no teammate to clutch up, in a high-level World Cup lobby. We know the last time you saw a player this good. He never gives up hope, and despite being alone, he shows us how smart gameplay takes you a long way. So let's see how smart decision making can up your competitive play. Stompy has the best positioning and has all the essentials. An AR, drum gun, shotgun, and some minis, not to mention shadow bombs for rotation. He starts off by going for some pickups. He knows he doesn't have to rush his rotation due to his shadow bombs. Patience is key. You don't always have to push. Just wait for the right moments. Stompy's eyes grow wide at the sight of that player's health, and from this moment on, Fortnite fundamentals go out the window. And just like that, he gets kill number six. He starts rotating the zone using the best item in the game right now, the Shadow Bomb. Nobody will notice you, and it's super easy to gain high ground as well. The mere sight of this lobby would make me want out. It's actually incredible how he manages to win this one. He easily secures the safe spot in the zone and decides to branch out into two boxes. Now he can go into a secondary backup box if an enemy takes his wall. Stompy sits around for a while, so let's cut to the chase. In this game, he plays very safely. Well, by his standards. He seems to get to the end through attrition. If we think about positioning, Stompy is easily at a disadvantage. He's on the low ground, and he has two opponents above him. But this isn't going to prevent him from stomping. Sorry, had to. Stompy sees his opportunity and hammers out the opponent on mid-ground. Even though the right thing to do would be to bait the two enemies into attacking each other, Stompy just doesn't think like that. He takes matters into his own hands. Now it's what we've all been waiting for, a 1v1 versus a professional opponent. If we look at the point count, Stompy is only 7 points above him. The enemy seals his own fate by doing an impulsive edit. He pays the price by getting trapped, and he isn't able to recover. Well played by Stompy. This type of gameplay deserves a round of applause. From this clip, we have one single but important takeaway. Despite Stompy being alone, in a seemingly dismal situation, he doesn't lose hope. He plays it as if he had Chinkin by his side. He could have easily despaired, lost hope, and gotten blasted back to the lobby. But instead, he acted quickly and he came out victorious. Side note, Chinkin was probably helping him out with callouts too. <laughs> nice. Next video, let's take a look at his duo's next win in this insane qualifier. We're going to watch Stompy and Chinkin win yet another insane game here, but this time you're going to see satisfying results from their phenomenal gameplay. In a tightly contested circle with 40 players left, things get hasty. They display high level positioning and a few risky plays, but it all works out. All of us can obtain this through practice and perseverance. Stompy and Chinkin, as you know, are opportunistic players. They don't play by the books. They'd rather make the wild than a safe one. This mentality does take them a long way, especially in a game like Fortnite where creativity gives players an edge. They see enemies with high ground and are like, I'll take that. But oh, no, get these two off the high ground. They are dangerous. They are going full high ground warriors, spraying down on everything that moves. I'd like to point out that one item which I see Stompy and Chicken carry a lot is gliders. Now, when gliders first came out, there was a huge hype around them. Slowly, they slipped into oblivion, but Stompy here really seems seems to give them life. Next time your friend says the high ground isn't even good, show them this. It's actually insane how well this tag team worked together, just punishing people from above. I'm sure other top duos exist, but not like this. When we look at how they play the high ground, it's flawless. They have full control over it, and when you see them in this stage, you know you aren't going to take it. What makes this even scarier is that they aren't only doing this in the semi-final lobbies. There's definitive proof that they do this in all game types. At this point, Stompy and Chinkin have excellent positioning. They're above everyone else, they're very healthy, and they have the best advantage in the game. Teamwork. Their goal is to not let anybody get above them and just rain destruction from above while the enemies kill each other off. Stompy, as confident as he is, goes in for some pickings while his duo, Chinkin, is firing at opponents from above. What makes an effective duo is simple callouts that many other people overlook. You can have two total studs paired up and lose, but why? Because you can offset a lot of skill with simple callouts and strategy. I gotta say, that was a pretty risky play. Stompy didn't go for the finish because he knows the storm will grant him the kill anyway. This is the type of push that most people wouldn't take. Stompy does the same and backs off. His low health could cost him. Looking at Stompy's inventory, it actually amazes me how he pulls off such incredible plays. He's rocking a green tactical and a gray AR. How many of us would whine and complain all game about not having good weapons in a situation? Larson is probably shaking in his boots right now. He has Stompy and Chinkin, the best duo ever, sandwiching him from above. What would you do in a situation like this? This player knows that he's about to be swarmed. And there goes Stompy pushing with only 70 HP. Look at that sheer confidence. KO. And I love how hyped he is after this win. There are a few takeaways from this last clip. Number one, don't be afraid to let your creative side run wild. Go for crazy outlandish plays. Number two, teamwork is an art form. Put effort into finding a good effective duo. Grind day in and out, because if not, it won't make a difference how good you are as a solo player. Number three, dominate high ground end game. Most games, players are tearing each other apart from below. Why go through the struggle of rotating below when you can just sit on top and have free reign? Oh, and don't forget to bring gliders. <laughs>
This is more than enough proof that this duo is top of the top. They might be even better than Mongrel and Mitro. What do you guys think? Does this duo have what it takes to win the World Cup? Stompy posted this, saying, Good luck to the people landing Frosty and World Cup duos at NYC, devil face. From this, we see they're very confident in themselves. But let's not get too cocky. No, but all jokes aside, tell us what you guys think about this duo. We'd love to hear your feedback.